New 3D modelling is providing images of the Titanic as it's never been seen before. The images have been created using deep sea mapping and allow for the first full-size digital scan of the famous ship. Joining us live now for more on this is Gerhard Seinfeld, a 3D capture specialist who was part of this project. Thank you so much for your time. These images that we're seeing are incredible. It took six weeks of scanning to get them. And it must have been challenging capturing these pictures in the middle of the Atlantic. Can you take us through the process? Yeah, I mean, definitely it was challenging. I mean, it's we dreamt about this project for a while, doing it. We did smaller projects before that, but, you know, then developing the belief that you can really do it was, you know, credits to Richard Parkinson, the boss. He talked us into it. And... And then, yeah, the planning process, there's so many details you have to, to uh, think about, you know, how do we do it? What exactly do, have, do we have to do? What's the sequence of things? How long will everything take? You know, how, you have to break it down in small pieces. So at the end, you, you don't go home with nothing mm. and, and to make the best out of your time budget. So it was pretty exciting then first to get there, you know, now you're here, Titanic. We're just seeing the images on the screen now. Were there any close calls and you thought you might have to call off the mission altogether due to the weather challenges or, or technical challenges? Yeah. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong, and, and you know, um, especially the weather. You know, in this part of North Atlantic, even in summer, um, there's no guarantee. But we were really lucky. We had no day downtime because of weather. We had almost no downtime because of technical failures. I mean, it's like you know, with your car at home, you know, it works for two years, but then it breaks today. But we didn't have anything like this. And with every day we we mapped the way, the wreck, we got more confident that at the end we're going to do it. Nothing went wrong, really. Well, that's good to hear. Analysts are hoping that the new images are going to provide fresh details as to what happened to the Titanic. Has it shed some light? Sorry, say again? Have we learned any more details since discovering, yeah. uh, discovering, I suppose, these these new photos? I mean, it, I'm not an historian. I'm not the shipwreck Titanic expert. So, but we are handing this over to to a group of historians and, and shipwreck advisors, historical advisors. So I can't really say. And I was so focused on kind of mapping everything, every little detail, whether you think it's important or not. Um, but. You know, now the, the model is, is so detailed. It's, a, it's one centimeter resolution at roundabout, and you can measure things up to, you know, half percent of error. And I'm pretty sure that the scientists can do something with it. Mm. I mean, you, you, so it's in their hands now. I'm pretty sure over the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a lot of releases, scientific papers, the documentary is about to, to, to uh, launch at some point. So it's going to be exciting. Is it rewarding seeing these images come together? Yes, of course. I mean, as I said before, we, we, we did something before, but the scale of this, the size of, of, of the project, 700,000 images, the, the, the biggest one before was 60,000 images. So that's a difference. And we, we could have never done it without a team of people working on it. So the whole rendering was in the hands of a great guy from Canada, Toronto, Canada, William McMaster. He's the 3D virtual reality kind of guru. And he helped us big oh, sorry. He helped us big time in putting it on to it's improvised here. It's in holidays. Um yeah, he was the one responsible for managing all the complexity of all these individual scans, putting them all together, making them look nice as they look now. Garad Siphon, thank you so much for your time.